Hi, I'm Dave Chen from Kilo Paddles. Um, I'm one of the owners and also the designer here at Kilo. Um, part of my job is accessing new materials. And uh, the material I want to talk to you about today is called FiberLite. Uh, FiberLite is a continuous fiber material. Um, it's comprised of carbon fiber or fiberglass and um, polypropylene resin. Um, when I started this project a couple of years ago, um, one of the things that became really obvious to me was that I was in the plastics industry. Um, I've been in the plastics industry for a long time, I just didn't realize it. Uh, carbon fiber epoxy, uh, which is more very common things that we use in our hybrid PAL, that is part of the plastics industry. Um, I had the opportunity to go see Yvonne Chouinard from Patagonia speak, and uh, it was it, it was an incredible, incredible experience for me, it was inspiring, but it also brought up a lot of questions for myself as I was entering this awareness of being a plastics manufacturer. And one of the things he brought up was that we are polluters of the earth, whether we like it or not, if we are manufacturing goods. And um, I took ownership of that. What Yvonne told us was, if you're going to make something, make something that lasts. And so that's what, in dealing with our fiber light project, I kept that in mind. And I decided I was going to make paddles that are going to last a long time. Um, this is moving forward, like three years later, um, 30,000 plus paddles. I can tell you that we did get it right. Um, we have virtually no returns on our fiber light products. I think we've had three blades come back out of 30,000. That's, that's a figure that I think is pretty good as far as warranty goes. Um, so, but I can talk on and on about this, or I can show you why I love this material and why this is the future of composite technology. Um, to do a little comparison, I'm going to show you what happens with a traditional carbon epoxy type of uh, blade. And I'm going to show you, compare it with our fiber light here. By the way, our fiber light, we also use recycled resin in it. Uh, we use um, recycled baby diapers. Um, you know, when they make the baby diapers, apparently they clip off this one part and they use polypropylene, polypropylene in your baby diaper. And um, they melt it down and they use that resin to make this paddle. But um, let, me, let me show you what happens here. And we're going to do an impact test. And here we go. Now, as you can see, I've put a dent inside of here and I've actually ripped the fiber. This has gone through. Now, to tell you the truth, in, with this paddle, it actually wouldn't be a total deal breaker um, because this paddle has a closed cell. Uh, the Vinicel foam core, and so it doesn't absorb water. But basically, the structure has been compromised at this point because I've broken through these fibers. They're no longer continuous. They've, they're, they've stopped. And this is definitely a weak point. Actually, I'm pretty surprised at the performance of that. Now let's try it on a fiber light paddle. If you can see from this paddle, nothing has really happened to it. I've created a little bit of a dent inside of it but the fibers are still intact. And this is really the beauty of this material, is it is extremely tough. And that's why we've had so few returns with this type of paddle. Even in abusive situations, um, people using them in the wrong way, prying on things, snow shovel, whatever it is, this paddle really, this material just is, makes a very, very durable pad um, paddle. So, um, going forward, this is, this is the future of composites. We're going to be doing more and more work here. Um, I like this um, as a plastics guy because my hope is that you don't see my paddles in the landfill. Um, when you get tired of your paddle, you give it to a kid, donate it to a program, sell it on eBay, do something, but don't put it in the landfill. Thank you.